Hello world, it's me Doji. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Visual Studio Code. So Visual Studio Code is used for coding and programming. Okay guys, the first thing we must have, of course, is a laptop or a computer where you can install your Visual Studio Code. Okay, then the next thing you should have a browser. So it, whatever browser you might have, you might have Google Chrome, Mozilla, whatever browser you might have. Okay, you just open the browser and then you're going to search Visual Studio code or can add downloads forgive my spelling now the very first link to come up going to click that one we're going to download it in here what operating system you're using if you're on mac you click this one if you're on linux this one as of now i'm using windows 10 so i'm going to click this download button once we click that we're going to wait for the download process okay guys as you can see now it's already downloaded okay so we're going to run that so we're just going to double click that vs code file and start let's close this okay now guys you will see this window so just click i accept next and then choose so you're just going to select the folder where you want your visual studio code files to be downloaded so next just click next and then create a desktop icon so it should serve as a shortcut and then just click next and then install this might take some time but it's not going to be long okay it's nearly done there you go guys now as you can see it's already installed we're going to launch the visual studio code so that you will be able to see what's inside so here is our visual studio code now these are some short tutorials to get started with visual studio codes and as you can see they are prompted with a different themes you can select your theme so i really don't like light or high contrast here on the left side you will see a lot of shortcuts so there's a search button and source control i think this is for git repositories and also this button is for extensions so i'm going to show you some of the extensions i'm using so for example we're going to do web development which is one of the most popular okay so one of the extension that we're going to use is live server so you just search on the extension and install okay that's basically how you use visual studio codes but i'm going to make an example okay for example we're going going to code let's not wait for that let's search another extensions html so let's if i'm going to type html there will be a lot of html extensions you will see we have parameter so there's different kinds i'm going to use this this is very important to me and then also the end name tag so let's not wait for it so it will just download and install on its own now let's try making a folder so that we could start coding i'm going to put the folder inside my desktop I'm going to create a new folder okay and we're going to select that demo folder as you can see that demo folder will open we're going to create some files so we can start coding index.html uh let's just click yes index that html then we're going to create another file style for the css that css okay, guys now it's already created let's go to our index.html let's start coding so as you can see we already have emmet here so now we can start coding let's connect our css link h1 welcome to my blog now open live server let's see if it's really working so we're going to check well, we're going to right click on our html file open live server you can see here open live server and it will start running we'll just wait for it so now guys you can see that our visual studio code so it's perfectly running now we're going to use css we're going to change the background color aqua there you have it guys this is how you download and install visual studio codes if you want to do coding if you found this video helpful guys please don't forget to like the video and please subscribe thank you so much for watching watching.